All right, so a lot of credit to Alabama. Um, obviously, they battled through a lot this week, and a lot of people questioned them. And um, I thought they came out, played really physical, did a great job on defense, especially in the secondary. We really struggled on third down, which is a big part of the game. And um, thought we did some good things on defense at times, but the whole thing was to not let this quarterback throw it over our head and make him work it downfield. And ended up going over our head twice for two big plays. So um, really disappointed. Uh, and the result came near to win and uh, didn't do that today. And wish we would hit that last pass there to get to one score with three timeouts and see what would have happened there. But <clears throat> disappointing, especially when you don't get these guys again, at least for a year. Um, so more missed opportunities. Coach, you just talk about the inability to run the football and how that affected maybe how you want to you know, play this defense? Yeah, these guys are notoriously hard to run the ball on. Um, you know, so, and some of those things in the first half to run carries were very low on handoffs, um, which was not totally by design. You're running RPOs and, um, you know, they played a lot of extra guy in the front, which requires them to throw the ball. So um, those numbers kind of got out of, out of whack there, uh, not on purpose, but you ain't going to just turn and hand the ball off against these guys over time and, um, you know, beat them in my opinion. You got to be able to hit some shots and move the ball around and, and um, make the plays when they're there because they're not going to give you a ton of them. And they really kind of got their running game going in the second half. Was it a scheme change on their end or do you think the team played back in this one? I just think you can only, you know, these guys got great players and you can only keep them down so long. That's why you can't, you know, you got to steal scores when you have a chance. You get the three at the end of the first half and then we come out third quarter and we take our shot over their head they pick it they took their, their shot almost the same play for huge play and um, you get yourself all of a sudden in, in trouble so uh, that's why they're, they're hard to beat especially here. Coach, Emily Grace will hurt in the next round. Who do you think was calling defensive plays for Alabama this afternoon? I don't know they did a good job so um, I commend them maybe coach took over. Uh, they did a really good job on third down. I mean, what an exotic play man to man and, and did a good job against us. And um, thought, thought Malachi played really well. And, um, you know, Kool Aid and number three tried to go after him like last year, and the guy did a really good job. Questions? Coach, what was the difference for you guys between that second quarter defense and that third quarter defense? I think you got to. You know, you got to make plays on offense when you come in here and you can't just keep putting it on your defense. You know, eventually, a lot of times you end up breaking, um, especially that's a really big offensive line and powerful running back. And when the quarterback, he's as good a runner as there is, um, you know, in the, court, in the country at that position. So uh, that, that's really challenging when we put ourselves in that spot. And, and we kind of had them one dimensional in the first half. I think they were one yard per carry at halftime. And then um, we started to break down. Or where now? Can you talk about Perkins in the game yet? Oh, can you talk about Perkins in the game yet on defense? Young player, stepping up in a big time environment. We think that can be for him going forward. I thought Perkins uh, made a lot of plays today. Um, was hoping he would kind of. Kind of like the LSU guy when we played LSU last year. He hadn't started yet, the freshman, and all of a sudden they played him against us, and the guy looked like the best player in the conference. So we were hoping he could give us that spark because he's one of the few players we have that can catch this guy. Um, so I thought you could see the impact right away uh, that that he made and Tennyson made in trying to spot his quarterback. Lane, you mentioned third down being a problem. What are you seeing that's, that's causing that? Is there a common threat that you can point to? Oh, we got to coach better, um, come up with better things. These guys always for years and years being good on third down, like, you know, you don't come up with things and, and win in man-to-man and they got good rushers, especially at home. So kind of fed into that. And a lot of the third downs were, were longer situations, which certainly doesn't help in this place. With another big game next week, uh, how do you just get the, boy, the guys to just be set after this one? I'm not there yet. I mean, th this was really discouraging to come in here. I really thought this was our shot to, to beat these guys. Um, just thought there were some things there we could do and didn't get them done today. So we'll worry about next week, and I guess later today. Wait. Alabama seemed vulnerable this year. Um, yeah. You've been with Satan. Well, what does he do, I guess, to um, you know, motivate his team in these types of situations? 
I, I didn't like playing them after they played poor. He, he's the best in the world at that. Um, you know, you would think that he would act one way when they don't play. I'm sure he would say he said they didn't play well last week, you know, down in South Florida, and he does a great job of getting them back and and using what everybody says. You know, all you guys saying the dynasty is over and they ain't any good anymore, and he uses that all week, and the guys come out um, playing really well, especially using on defense, and they did that today. Coach, it was only one play, but do you think that field goal miss in the first half had any kind of energy shift for you and Alabama? I mean, I, I think it did a little bit, but what you go to a four-point game, um, there'd be some momentum. I don't think that was really big. I felt our locker room was good at halftime. Um, felt like we would be in this type of game, you know, one-point game. And um, I really think the shift, really, there was two plays there. You know, we moved the ball past midfield. We said we were going to play aggressive. We said we weren't going to. I've been in this place and lost 12 to 10 with field with four field goals. And said, oh, I'm going to do that again. So we took a shot, and you know, their guy made a really good play. And um, and they basically on the next series took a shot exactly the same over our safety's head. So I think that's really where it, where it turned. And I still think we're in a game. I mean, Jackson played his heart out, but he would be the first to tell you Jordan's wide open for a touchdown there with all three timeouts. And I think it would have got really interesting. Coach, was there anything that Alabama did specifically today that surprised you were getting caught you guys off guard? Uh, not really. I mean, I said this every year. They're bigger than I remember them every time. But um, these guys, man, you can't, can't play the game in third long against them at home here. So, uh, put ourselves in that position too much. You, you touched on it there a little bit. How big is the athleticism delta between, between them and them? I don't know. Um, we, we got to coach better, come up with plays. Um, I mean, we tried some things today. I mean, if you're watching, there's some things in there that kind of unusual plays and kind of threw it all out there. So um, this was our shot. Just take these guys down, and we didn't do it. You've talked about some of those slower first half starts and then kind of turning it on in the second half. Just, did you, what kind of confidence did you have going into halftime, 7-6, kind of in that position? Had a lot. Um, we'd been a really good second half team, 123, I think, this year. Um, obviously, different quality opponent today, but um, so I, I felt good about that. Then the play counts got off balance. It got off balance because we weren't getting, we weren't winning on third down. Um, so, that kind of got us off balance there. Can we do one more? Anything else? 